Android games, emulation, PC games. What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean, and today we're going to do some gaming on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. Now you can do a lot of different stuff on the S8 Plus. It has dex mode for getting some work done. It has a nice OLED screen and speakers for just watching movies or playing music. But really, in this video, I'm going to focus on what we can do as far as gaming on it. Now, I'm normally not a big touchscreen mobile type gamer, but luckily you can pair an Xbox or a PlayStation controller really easily and it works in a lot of the games. First, let's check out Call of Duty Mobile. I'd honestly never played this before, but it's pretty decent for a mobile shooter and you can get in and out of the matches really quickly. The S8 Plus has an 8 core processor and it runs at no problem on pretty high settings. I'm not sure if having a tablet like this with a big screen and good performance gives you any competitive advantage, but I did seem to do a little better than I usually do in online shooters. The graphics and performance on here were surprisingly good though uh, for a mobile game. You know, I haven't had a modern tablet that I've really gamed on recently, but I would say this is about equivalent to playing on maybe a PS3 or PS4 level of graphics, but I was surprised. It feels really nice when you're playing it. It does try to push the battle pass and some other in-app purchase stuff on you, but it's really not too bad. If you skip it, you can play a whole bunch of matches and that stuff's not really that intrusive. But I never had any performance issues, it always felt smooth, I never felt like I was lagging out or anything compared to the other players, and it pretty much just ran like you'd expect Call of Duty to run. Next up, as far as the actual Android games, I tried out Asphalt 9. This one, however, pushes the in-app purchases pretty hard and it constantly is just telling you to buy this, upgrade this, unlock this, so I probably am not going to stick with this game, but I wanted to try it out just to test out the graphics and the performance of the tablet because this is one of the newer, more demanding games. And no big surprises with this one, it runs great on the S8+. Plus. The graphics are turned up pretty high, but it still plays smooth, and I never really noticed any slowdown. The visuals and audio were good, and there's not really a lot to nitpick with this one. Of course, with this thing having one of the best Android CPUs in it, those mobile games are going to run no problem. So let's move on to something that might be a little more interesting, emulation. Being able to run emulators with no hassles is one of the big reasons that I switched from iPad to this Android tablet. I'm currently running the Daijisho front end with various emulators installed like RetroArch, Redream, Dolphin, and EtherSX2. Classic 2D games like Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis will of course work with no problems. The SA Plus also makes short work of early 3D games like PSP and PS1, but can even handle more demanding systems like GameCube, Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, and some Wii games. A few harder to run PS2 games like Gran Turismo and Metal Gear Solid 3 slowed down quite a bit, but I'm not 100% familiar with all the EtherSX2 plugins and settings, so you may very well be able to tweak some stuff to improve their performance. Most of the PS2 games I could run really well though, and that's with 2 to 3 times resolution scaling, so they looked really good and crisp. This is honestly a really fun way to play some of those old games. The Dreamcast and PS2 area games, those tended to be really vibrant and colorful, and they really pop on the OLED screen. The super fast response time of the screen also makes 2D games feel really responsive and snappy, whether you're playing something like a platformer, shmups, or anything where the timing is critical. All in all, this thing's kind of a beast for emulation, so whether you're wanting to play some really old stuff or even some more modern stuff, I think you're going to be pretty happy with the performance you get out of this. There are several different ways you can stream PC games. There's an official Steam Link app, and there's also third-party solutions like Moonlight, and those might be handy because they let you stream non-Steam games without jumping through a bunch of hoops. There is a slight bit of lag introduced, so you may not want to do competitive online games with this, but I think it did quite well for the games I tried out. Linking up a controller still worked pretty seamlessly with all the ones that I tried, and wow, do those PC games look really good on here. Downsampling them from 4K to the 12 inch OLED makes them look really crisp and sharp and I was actually pretty impressed with the quality of the video that I got on the streams. This could be a really good option if you wanted to be able to play your PC games, you know, wirelessly from around your house, on your couch, on your patio, or wherever your Wi-Fi will reach. All in all, the S8 Plus is a great tablet for gaming or doing just about anything on. The S8 Ultra has similar performance and a bigger screen with a notch if that's your thing, 
but I personally went with the 12.4 inch plus over the Ultra just because I figure the screen size is big enough for what I need it for and it's easier to carry around. If you pick up either one though, I think you'll be pretty happy with them. I personally got this from a deal I saw on Slick Deals directly through uh, Samsung and I would recommend that if you're looking for one of these, wait until they run one of these specials because they gave me like $200 in promotional credit on top of the sale which I turned around and used to buy the keyboard cover from them. And they also gave me a crazy like $275 of trade-in credit for an old iPad. So I would recommend if you want one of these, don't pay the full sticker price, wait until they run a deal and they run some pretty aggressive deals directly through Samsung if you can't find one at a retailer. Well, I hope this video was entertaining. Give it a like down below, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you in the next video.